Aubrey Zwickel, and we're at Grant Street Studios at ASU. So this is the, actually the first drawing that I did this semester here, and it's an insect woman carrying a larva. My drawing process has always been intuitive. Usually I don't have a plan when I start my drawings. I was zoning out on the phone with a friend and looking at a tapestry that I have in my apartment that's like this old Japanese textile with all these little soldiers in it. And I was zoning out and I was staring at it and it looked like one of the soldiers was carrying like a larva. <laughs> I have some other work I was doing a couple of years ago for a book that I never completed that I would still like to complete called Insect Carnival. And the concept was like sort of creating an imaginary world where a coven of half insect, half human witches go into the forest and have a carnival celebration of life. I've been thinking this year a lot about babies because I feel like so many people are having babies during the pandemic and so I keep having dreams about babies and infants and so I guess this one was sort of like this cosmic mother archetype of one of them sort of like nursing a child. I've been studying folk cemeteries in different parts of the world and so I've been looking at these cemeteries. There's a couple in Guatemala and also in Mexico of these like really beautiful like folk houses that are painted different colors with ornate designs on them. Of the way that the human nervous system looks. We went to a Body Worlds exhibit and like saw this one nervous system man. It's like a, the brain and the eyes and then the nervous system. So I've been drawing these nervous system people for a while and I was trying to give them more of a backstory. So in this drawing, I was imagining them as being these like fungal spirits that are born from the mycelium in the soil. Cause you know there's some mushrooms that pop up like only at night, maybe for like two hours at a time just to spore and then they disappear. So I was thinking of them as being these like rare mycelial wisdom holding spirits that appear only at night and like if you stumble upon them in the forest you can ask them any question you want and they'll give you an answer but they're only there for a couple hours they can disappear at any moment like i'm sort of scattering this idea of like are these fairy houses are they graves are they urns i don't know so like there's some hidden things in there like beloved i was thinking about epitaphs on cemeteries so In this drawing, I really wanted to create a narrative around animals. So these animals are feeding on these plants that are coming out of the ground. And again, I think all of my recent work is taking place at night. So there's the scar starry sky in the background and like the trees. I was looking at Ernst Haeckel's the art forms and nature illustrations for inspiration for some of these shapes. This is one of my favorite drawings that I did. This was from a couple of years ago. And um, it was part of the series I did for Insect Carnival. And these are these clown worms that live in the soil. Um, and they're actually an invasive species and they eat everything. But right now they're suckling on these tit plants that are growing out of the mountain side. I really like drawing plants that have boobs on them. I think they're a good metaphor for nectar. So this is the piece that I most recently finished. And in this one, I actually like really wanted to showcase the rocks mostly. So I did another the piece that I finished before this. I drew some rocks and I was like, okay, these rocks are okay, but I want to like play with. So in this one, actually the figures are supposed to be sort of more to support the rocks instead of the background being supporting the figures. This was an 
exploration of these sort of like moss worlds that live on rocks. So I was looking at a lot of pictures of of mosses and also mold growing in petri dishes. I was listening to an interview with Adrienne Marie Brown and she was talking about the importance of community and family and I was thinking about how I always draw these alone figures by themselves and so I added this little guy because I decided that she needed a friend and I still have been staring at this and trying to figure out what's going on. I kind of like, again, it's like this ambiguous relationship where like it almost feels like an inner child or like a spirit or a ghost uh, and not like a, an actual like companion. This is another older one. These are the insect witches and they're feeding. I love drawing things eating other things. The rocks are alive. There's like the spaghetti vines coming out of the rocks and they are feeding on them joyfully.